When a woman stumbled upon a crying bear cub deep in the woods, she knew she had to help. What happened next, when the mama bear showed her gratitude, was truly unbelievable. Kelly was excited for an adventure and felt like the tall trees ahead were calling her. At first, she followed a clear path, but soon, the temptation to explore deeper pulled her off the trail. Before she realized it, she had wandered far into an unknown part of the forest. As she walked, lost in her thoughts, Kelly tripped on a root and tumbled down a small hill. When she finally stopped, everything around her was quiet. As she stood up, she heard a faint sound, a soft whimper coming from further down the hill. It sounded like something was in pain. Curious, she followed the sound and found a touching sight. In a small clearing, there was a bear cub, its fur a little messy, crying loudly. Kelly's heart sank, and she carefully approached, forgetting about her fall. The cub seemed to be alone, probably calling for its mother. It looked scared and was trapped in some thorny bushes. Kelly immediately knew she had to help. She reached into her backpack, pulled out a pair of gloves, and prepared to free the little bear from its prickly trap. The forest had given her a chance to save a creature in need. Approaching the cub slowly and gently, Kelly began the delicate task of freeing it from the thorny entanglement. The cub, initially wary, seemed to sense Kelly's intentions and allowed her to work. Kelly's gloved hands moved with precision, carefully navigating through the thicket to avoid causing harm. As the last thorny tendril released its grip on the bear cub, a moment of stillness settled over the clearing. Now free from its prickly predicament, the cub nuzzled against Kelly, grateful to its rescuer. In that moment, Kelly couldn't shake off the lingering question that hovered in her mind. How had the bear cub found itself ensnared in the thorns, separated from its mother in the first place? As Kelly gently stroked the cub's fur while checking for wounds, she glanced around the clearing, seeking clues to unravel the mystery. It became clear that the cub's separation from its mother was not a mere accident, but the result of an unseen challenge. Kelly pieced together a likely narrative, Perhaps the cub had accidentally wandered too far, and the dense underbrush had concealed the path back to its family. But she couldn't help but feel there was more to the story. Her mind wove together various scenarios that might have led to this predicament. Rationally, she knew staying near the cub could be a fatal mistake. After all, the mother bear could come charging at any moment. But despite the potential threat, Kelly felt a sense of obligation to uncover the truth about the cub's separation from its mother. Kelly examined the ground for more clues. She wasn't an expert tracker, but she was knowledgeable. The bear cub's tracks led her to a scene of struggle, evidence of a clash between two forces, the very spot where the cub must have fled in desperation. It was undeniable that a fight had taken place here between the mother bear and another predatory creature. As Kelly surveyed the scene, she realized with certainty that this was no accidental separation. It was part of a larger, more threatening conflict, a conflict she wasn't sure she belonged in. Despite the tension in the air, she found the courage to venture deeper into the woods. The signs of struggle intensified, a broken twig here, a displaced rock there, all pointing to the story that had unfolded among the trees. Eventually, the young woman came to a clearing where the signs of confrontation reached a climax. Claw marks on tree trunks, scattered patches of fur, and the lingering scent of defiance were all that remained of what had transpired there. Kelly approached cautiously, her eyes scanning the surroundings. The silence of the woods spoke volumes. As she continued her exploration, she followed the mother bear's tracks, which led her away from the clearing and into the wilderness. The cub followed closely behind, occasionally nuzzling against Kelly's leg to remind her of its presence. The larger tracks led Kelly to a densely wooded area where the forest floor seemed to close in, concealing what lay behind. Here, the signs of struggle intensified. The forest floor bore witness to yet another battle. Kelly crouched down to examine the ground, and there, her blood ran cold. The enemy that had confronted the mother bear was no ordinary creature. Her eyes widened as she traced the claw marks etched into the bark. They were larger, deeper, and sharper than anything she had encountered before. Something was lurking within the shadows. The cub seemed to sense a danger that Kelly could not, clinging to her side and refusing to let go. As she rose from her crouched position, Kelly's gaze darted nervously between the towering trees, half expecting the mysterious creature to materialize from the shadows. She could feel something watching them, moving within the darkness, or was that just her paranoia? As Kelly continued, her attention momentarily diverted, she realized the bear cub was no longer by her side. Panic seized her as she scanned the surroundings, desperately searching for any sign of the vulnerable creature. In the quiet of the forest, Kelly strained her ears, hoping for a clue to the cub's whereabouts. Then, a distant roar echoed through the trees, causing her heart to skip a beat. Without a second thought, she rushed toward the source of the sound, guided by a mix of fear and panic. The forest grew denser as Kelly pressed on, the undergrowth closing in around her. The distant roars grew louder, accompanied by the cub's desperate cries. As she approached a small clearing, the scene before her froze her in her tracks. A large male bear, its black fur bristling with aggression, stood just a few feet away from the bear cub. Cornered and frightened, the little one emitted cries of distress that sent shivers down Kelly's spine. 
Kelly's heart pounded in her chest as she realized the gravity of the situation. The male bear, driven by territorial instincts, was attempting to assert dominance by attacking the vulnerable cub. Panic set in as she desperately searched for a way to intervene. Without a second thought, Kelly grabbed a nearby branch, snapping it from a tree with a swift motion. She then took out the whistle she kept in her bag and readied herself. Suddenly, she started hitting the branch against a tree trunk while blowing into the whistle and stomping on the ground as hard as she could. She realized she probably didn't look her best, but the point was to make as much noise as possible to deter and scare the adult black bear. Fortunately, black bears are notably less aggressive than their brown counterparts and often flee when they perceive their opponent might be bigger or stronger. The male bear, confused by the sudden intrusion, shifted its attention from the cub and hesitated, sizing up the unexpected challenger. Seizing the moment, Kelly shouted with all her might, her voice echoing through the forest as she continued stomping and waving her arms fiercely. The cub, spurred by the urgency in her tone, darted away toward the safety of the trees. The male bear hesitated for one last second before turning around and disappearing into the woods, following the cub. While it wasn't a complete success, Kelly had managed to give the cub a few minutes of respite, but she feared the adult bear would resume the chase. She wasn't sure if her trick with the noise and movement would work a second time, but she couldn't just stand by and wait for the cub to be caught. Not knowing if she was brave or crazy, she followed into the forest. As her breath quickened, she once again heard the familiar cries of the cub from a distance. The male bear, regaining focus, had found the young creature again. She quickly altered her course, racing toward the sounds of distress. She needed to reach the cub before the male bear did, before the unfolding tragedy took a turn for the worse. As Kelly stepped into a small open area, she saw a tense scene unfolding. A large male bear was towering over the helpless cub, ready to attack. Just before it could strike, a loud roar echoed through the clearing. The ground shook as heavy footsteps rushed toward them. The male bear, startled by the noise, turned to face the new threat. Suddenly, the mama bear burst from the shadows, moving with surprising speed for her size. She charged at the male bear, crashing into him with incredible force. The male bear, driven by his instincts, tried to fight back, but the mama bear was strong and determined. She defended her cub with every swipe and move, blocking the male bear's attacks with precision and power. In the chaos, Kelly lost sight of the cub. Her heart raced as she searched for it, and then she spotted the little bear, hiding in the shadows, scared but safe. Kelly motioned for the cub to come to her, and with a mix of relief and urgency, the cub ran toward her. The two bears continued to fight fiercely, the ground trembling beneath them. After a few intense moments, the male bear realized he couldn't win. With a final growl, he retreated into the forest, disappearing for good. Victorious, the mama bear turned toward Kelly. For a brief moment, their eyes met, and Kelly felt a deep connection. The mama bear's gaze, still fierce, also held a quiet gratitude. The cub, now safe and happy, played near its mother, full of joy. Kelly smiled, watching the heartwarming scene. The cub she had helped was now reunited with its mother. As the clearing grew quiet again, the mama bear gently nudged her cub and began to lead it away. She glanced back at Kelly one last time, silently thanking her, before disappearing into the trees. Kelly stood in the clearing, deeply moved by the experience. The memory of the mama bear's silent thanks would stay with her, a reminder of the quiet ways we can feel gratitude. What do you think of this story? Let us know in the comments section. Also like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.